Consider the following table. Which of the following options represents the same relationship as demonstrated in this table? To solve this question, it will be helpful to put the information in this table into an equation of y equals mx plus b form. And in this case, we're already given our b value. We're given our y-intercept, or where x is equal to 0, and that is negative 4. So if b is negative 4, we just need to figure out what our m is in order to have an equation. So let's take these bottom two points here and put them into our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That would be our y2 is negative 6 minus a negative 5 as our y1, and then our x2 would be 2 minus x1 is 1. When we do this math, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, so a negative 6 plus 5 will give us negative 1, and 2 minus 1 will give us a positive 1. Altogether, when we divide, that would be negative 1. So our end value is negative 1, and now we have everything we need to write our equation. y equals negative x plus, excuse me, plus a negative 4, which would be minus 4. Now that we have our equation, I'll make some more room, and we'll start looking at our answer choices. Now that we have our equation, let's take a look at some of our answer choices. For answer choice A, what we need to do is compare our two equations, and A is almost correct, but we're missing that negative 1 as our slope in front of x, so A is incorrect. For answer choice B, we know that our B value is negative 4, so that should be our y-intercept, and that does match. Um, in order to see if it's completely the correct answer, we'd have to try some other points into our equation, but we'll come back and do that in just a moment. For now, let's move on to answer choice D, our other graph, where we see that the y-intercept is not in this graph. It is missing from this graph, so that means answer choice D is incorrect. For answer choice C, we're going to have to test some of these values and see if we get true statements or if we get false statements. So I'll rewrite our equation, and then let's plug in the first round of values. We'll have negative 8 and negative 4. y will be equal to negative 4, x will be equal to negative 8, and be very careful here because this negative outside of the x will need to stay outside of our value of x. So this is uh, a, technically, if it exists in math, there's always one of them, a negative 1 that needs to be distributed into the parentheses. So we'll come back to that in a second, minus 4. So now let's do that distribution. Negative 1 times negative 8 will give us a positive 8. Minus 4 is equal to negative 4. 8 minus 4 will give us a positive 4, not a negative 4, making C incorrect, and making B our correct answer. At that point, you can mark B and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you exactly why B is correct. For answer choice B, let's plug in the values from some of these other points along the graph to see if we get true statements. We have this point is negative 8, 4. This is negative 4, 0. And then this is 4 comma negative 8. So we've got some points to try. We already know that this one is true because that's our y-intercept, so let's try these other points. We will start with this one. We'll have a y is equal to negative x minus 4. We'll plug in 4 for y, and we will plug in negative 8 for x. And this is exactly the same math that we did for answer choice C, except we end up with the correct result, a positive 4 instead of a negative 4. So we know that this point is correct. Let's grab a new color, and let's plug in the next set of points, which is negative 4, 0. So we'll have 0 is equal to y, and then we will have negative 4 as x. If it exists, there's always one of them, so negative 1 times a negative 4 gives us positive 4 minus 4 is indeed equal to 0. So that means this point is also correct. And finally, we'll do the last point. Do up here, y is equal to negative x minus 4. And we will have negative 8 as our y. We will have 4 as our x. Again, if it exists in math, there's always one of them. We distribute this negative 1, and that will give us a negative 4 minus 4, uh, which will result in negative 8. All four of these points are correct, making answer choice B our correct answer.